wish I could make you stay Cause baby I love you Why you tryna break us up When I'm tryna build it up I wish I could make you stop Cause baby I love you Good morning everyone, how are you? We're bouncing! We're bouncing, we're bouncing. And yes, Tracy, we can stretch our low back because I need it too today. This has been the Mondayest Monday that has ever Mondayed in the history of Mondays. I, I'm actually, I just want to be like, don't, don't make it any worse. <laughs> you know, like, it was a pretty, it was a pretty hard one today. Uh, you know, last night, my son and I were sitting, holding hands on the couch. He was watching some silly thing. I was watching some silly thing. Actually, it wasn't silly. It was the um, Diane, Diana Nyad movie on Netflix. Yeah, about the swimming from um, Cuba to Florida. I loved it. I love, I love like triumphant stories about people who are, you know, trying and failing because it is my life every day as an entrepreneur. Try, fail, try and fail again and fail a little less and keep trying and all of it. So, oh, good morning, Christina. Good morning, uh, Colleen. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think we're all dealing with a little creakiness, a little arthritis, so we'll warm up a lot and then we're gonna go into some bouncing. We're gonna do some balance. So again, for those of you who are new to the channel, I've been progressing an injury that's doing quite well. Again, knock on that floor. Knock on that floor. Um, and so we're doing okay. We are not 100% yet. And last week we pushed it a little bit. You know, I, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It was, it felt like it was a nice experiment. So we're just gonna go, uh, you know, lengthy with it. And all of our classes are up for November. All right, so but let's start. Let's get a couple good stretches in. Let's take our legs wide, nice and wide. Um, push the rebounder back just a little bit. Big breath in, big reach up. Try to create some space between your ribs and your hips here. I want that feeling of hanging off the jungle gym. I know it's probably been a while, me too, but just that sense of elongation of your spine. Don't worry about where your shoulders are. Good, we're gonna bend our knees and then take your right hand down to your left toe and reach your left hand back and just stretch here. Press into your feet, just come all the way up to stand and stretch again, lift. Now as you go to the other side, I'm just bending both knees, reaching down. I'm trying to keep that space in my back here. And then reach all the way up. Big breath in, it's gonna feel good to move. Good. Joy, I, uh, I recorded the video as you suggested and uh, what was kind of interesting is just thinking about being a movement teacher for so long and the correlation that I was making was that movement is one part of the ecosystem and that we need to address other things, you know, like stress resist resilience and management and nutrition and rest and all of those things. But like sometimes, as I'm thinking about it today, sometimes that movement really does the trick. Take your arms out to a T. Take both hands over to your right knee, bend it. Little hint at the hips. Come up, slice the hands open, and then go to the other side. Sometimes what we need is to move it out, shake it out for sure. Good. I know for those of you who participated in the Fall Renewal Challenge, it's still open, by the way, until the 23rd. So you can get all of your good information there. We'll go a couple more side to side, just kind of getting into those ankles, getting into those uh, knees and hips. Good. And open, slice it. Let's take our left hand to our right knee. Take just a little gentle twist. It's a stretch for your inner thigh on the left. You're sinking your weight down. You're reaching up. You're looking up if you can. If not, just keep your focus down for balance. Good. And then come all the way back up. And then other side. Think about pressing into your hip, reaching up. I move my Monstera over back to the light. She's very happy. I'm very happy. Yes. Good. Come all the way back up. Take both arms overhead. Let's round over. You saw the movie too, yeah. Take your arms down. Well, free child, let's go ahead and bend your knees and straighten. Before I was able to have Jackson, and I say that and I talk about this a lot because we had a long journey of fertility treatments to get there, and it kind of put a stunt in my fitness, which was just fine with me. But I used to teach paddle boarding and I used to do triathlons <laughs> or 
train for them. I did one. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bend down. So roll up. So I don't have the uh, I don't have the experience of swimming in the open water. Still a little scary for me. Come on in. Bend your knees. Heel, heel, heel. Okay. We're just gonna get a little warmth in the body and warm up those ankles for me and you. Um, I do not have the experience of swimming in the open ocean. In the open lake I do. There ain't nothing there, but unfortunately, like, garbage. It's not too bad in Lake Michigan. It can be bad though. <laughs> Just you see the occasional plastic bags floating by and you pick it up and you put it away and you hope that somehow we'll figure this earth thing out. <sighs> but it brought me back to those days of just kind of like being disassociated from the whole world, yeah? Good, give me eight more here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're gonna just march in place here and we're doing this off the rebounder just to build a little heat so we can stretch the lower back. I'm gonna give you a good stretch for the lower back in a moment. Four more, three more, two, and one, okay, take your right foot forward, bend your left knee, take your left arm up, hinge at the hips, reach down to wherever you can touch, your toes, your shin, your knee. In your back position, you are hinging, trying to make as flat a back as possible. Good, hold for four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees, roll all the way up, and then let's do the other one real quick. Hinge, ooh, it's tight here today. Oh my goodness. The rehab work is like the real deal. Christina will appreciate this one. I've been doing all my, I've been doing my calf raises to work on the tendonitis, but I've been doing a lot of single leg work on the um, reformer. It is not a joke. Good. All right, let's roll all the way up. Okay, standing. These pants need a little assistance today. We're gonna bend our knees, take our hands onto your knees and then curl your tail round your spine and then reach your chest long arch your back so let's get as wide and round as we can as we curl and then reach out chest lift good curl it under i'm getting pretty excited about our neurotune program that's coming up Working on all those different aspects of health and well-being. Colleen, I hope you saw your email. I opened up that page. Yes, thank you, Christina. A couple more like this, everybody. Let's go one more round, one more arch. Good. Arch. Let's stand all the way up, wide stance. Take last stretch over to the side. Good, pull it all the way up. One more time, a little extra warm up this morning has been requested. And if you are a member of this channel, a subscriber, you know I'm gonna listen to your requests. Even if you don't come live, you can always drop them in the comments. By the way, I'm trying to figure out a way we can have a little kind of ongoing group chat. I think we can use the YouTube community um, feature to do it. The other option is doing something like on WhatsApp. So that's something that's been on my mind. Cause I know a couple of us try to just chat throughout the day. Hello, Cameo. Hello, Cameo. You came over to say hi. Yes, you did. All right, we're gonna do one more thing. Have a seat on your rebounder. You bring it forward. This will be fun. So prop yourself onto your elbows and we're gonna bring whatever leg you like to the front. You wanna be a little closer to the edge of your rebounder if you can. What you wanna do is open your knee to the side and then we're gonna pretend like you can see what's happening. Hey, Flashy, you're in the way. <laughs> you're in the way, can you sit down? Thank you. All right, I mean, could he be any more in the way? We're gonna take the toe up and come back. Let me show you that again. So you open your knee wide, you rotate to touch your toe down to the ground you rotate it back into turnout, so your heel or your ankle bone is kind of facing the ceiling, and then you close it up. So you're in 90 the whole time. Open it out, touch it down. Everybody says hello. Reach it back, 
come back up. This is a little adaptation from um, a friend of mine on Instagram, Atlanta Fitness and Pilates. He does some great hip rotation and this kind of like, oh, he does some great exercise in general. But this one just kind of made the difference for my hips this weekend. Good. All right, almost there. Go lay down, Flash. <laughs> He's staring at himself in the mirror. If I leave the room, I will come back and find himself, find him staring at the mirror, at himself, like trying to figure out where I went. Like, <laughs> good, lower it down. All right, let's do the other one. We come up, we open to the side, we touch that toe down, we lift the heel up, we come up. So open it, rotate it to touch your toe, rotate it to lift your heel. I know it's a little, interesting it's basically rotating your thigh bone internally externally and coming back up hopefully that makes sense so a lot of time lower back stuff yeah it's arthritis which is you know why we want to get remember arthritis responds really well in terms of kind of feeling to ready ready to move um, when you have systemic heat so like a full body warm-up a sauna a shower i know i not have the time to take a shower this morning probably could have gotten away without it but i just said to myself you know what i need to make sure i'm warm today two more good and last one all right good reach all the way down take your hands onto your hips and if you can walk your feet up onto the rebounder if you just push into your hips and arch your back a little bit Take a little breath into your lower back. All right, it's a Monday warm up. Let's hug our knees into our chest. Rock yourself all the way up. And I think we're good to go. Let's get up onto our rebounder. And replace that little bungee. All right, let's start with a little closed chain bouncing. Feet a little wider than hips. And just find that beat. So your feet are staying connected to the mat. Our knees are bent. Trying to think of our ankles being really kind of buoyant, easy, like shock absorbers in a way. Where we have our hips over our ankles, our ribs over our hips, shoulders over those, head on top, not forward or back. Just let those arms shake down. Let's get a little lymph movement happening. So remember our lymphatic, lymphatic system, it really is responsive to kind of softer movements, gent uh, jostling, kind of, not jostling, uh, vibrational movements, gentle to a degree. This vibration that's happening all the way through the body. So a lot of people will send me the videos that they see of like the intense rebounding happening online. And I'm like, yes, that is called, technically that's called jumping and rebounding is a little bit in general more gentle overall so let's start a little side to side a little bounce balance good i'm glad you feel better tracy thank you for letting me know i appreciate it good all right so sometimes what can help is the bouncing in and of itself because it can get you warm right but other times you need a little prep of the tissues let's find this beat me more than you and the music isn't loud today boom boom there it is got to tune into it good all right bending your knees a little bit more start to lift your heels into that full bounce balance so we're letting ourselves be really simple with this right now kind of shifting side to side with the weight shift but what I want you to do as we progress is try to keep your body centered over the center of the mat as your legs pump underneath. It's a little more control from your core. It will automatically ask you to kind of shore up everything connecting in the center. And I mean the center center of your body, like in your organs. Yeah, I'm sorry. Am I interrupting your sleep? That's why the couch is a better option for you. <laughs> We're gonna be here for four, three, two. We're gonna shift over to the right leg. Just bounce on the right. Push, push, push. 
Good, we're gonna just power up that right leg, dig your heel down. You've got a little hinge of the spine, just this much. Tiny bit, hinge of the hips, forward angle of the spine, I should say. We go for four. Keep pushing down, not too much weight on the left foot. Good, shift it on over to the other side. Push it down. That's it. Breathing deep. Getting into that single leg work here. You got it. We're here for four, three, two, one. All right, come back to center. Both hands swinging back. We're still in kind of this wide position. Keep doing this basic closed chain. I wanna show you what we're doing. We're gonna go one, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. Here we go. One, two, three, kick the right, kick the left. You can also do a tap. All right, getting ready. All those little systems of balance. Whether you're doing a tap or a kick, I want you to lead with the outer edge of your heel. So you're not doing that. Good, heels go out, not toes. Toes almost pointing in, yeah? Good. Two, three, two. Let's take a couple more just to get really comfortable with this little pattern. So as you kick, you're pushing down through the supporting leg, reaching out through the working leg. Yes. Good. Woo. Good, give me eight more. Eight and seven and six, five, four, three. Push those heels. Two, one. Good, okay, back to center. It's a little slower cadence. You hear it? Pull, pull, pull. We've done our three. We're gonna take this slower cadence to just bounce, kick, bounce, kick. Looks like this. Bounce right and left and right. Join me. Good. Yes. Good. No problem, Christina. Yeah, technically, Christina says that it's been bouncing, it's been helping her get into her study brain. I get that. It helps you get into your body. I had a pretty stressful reaction with my, with a person in my life. Not my husband, just in case you were thinking that. Um, really stressful, like spinning out, didn't like it, didn't feel safe. And um, I was on the phone with somebody who understands the nervous systems like me. And the person was like, go get on your rebounder for 10 minutes. You need to shift this, it's not good for you. And I said, you are right. Good, two, one. All right, we're back in our basic bounce. You can feel your hips, yes? <laughs> Pull back, book, back, not book. But if you want a book, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and we start lifting those feet into our basic bounce. Good. All right, let's get the heat going. Pull, pull. As you go into your basic bounce, you actually always have the option of staying connected to the mat if you need to. We're pushing in a hinge and you're working your hips as you pull. Hips, 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 hips. Pulling that chest open. Good. We're gonna stay here for four, three, two. Two out, two in. Out, in, out, in. That's it, out. You've already warmed up those outer hips. So push from your heels, pull from your inner thighs or your toes. Just don't knock your knees, yeah? Push, pull it through together. Good. Are you ready for some singles? Ready, set, singles, here we go. Out. That's it. Nice, excellent, fun, balanced, focused. Um, so if we're going on two legs to one leg, or I'm sorry, two legs to two legs, 
We're gonna think about landing at the same time with both feet. Try eight more of these. Seven, two and two, two and two, four, three, two, one. Come back to center, give me a little tiptoe. Good. All right, that lifts our heart rate up a lot. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick break for a, a hydration break. So if you wanna keep going, keep going with your tiptoe side to side. Um, hydration break because when you're on allergy medication, all of them, <laughs> you need to hydrate because it's dehydrating the hell out of your body, just not stopping you from sneezing and streaming in the eyes. This class is not sponsored by Zyrtec, but it sure as hell should be. <laughs> Hit me up, Zyrtec. You're helping me bounce today. All right, come back to center. Feet hip width distance apart. We go for heel, heel, heel. Just join me in the heel. Good. Oh, yes. Not everybody considers that rebounding as a mental health tool. And, you know, like, I get it. We, this is a horrible story. Horrible in that, you know, it's just the way the government works, so. I was up for a position in health coaching, but they were offering it to federal employees first. And uh, I said, how do I get seen? I'm perfect for this position. They said, well, if you can go to your doctor and get a letter for disability, you know, if you have anxiety or depression. <laughs> All right, come back, basic bounce. And like, yes, I do diagnosed, had both of those things. Something about that didn't feel right. Maybe that's something I have to work on. Didn't feel right to put that up against somebody who may have been like in combat as a veteran who was being offered that job first, you know? So, but I just think about that. And then anybody who I tell that story to, who, who knows me says, but you do have that a lot. <laughs> like, thanks, everybody. <laughs> oh, true conversation. All right, remember those heels that we're doing? We're gonna do them here. Heel, heel, heel together, heel together. Ready? Join me. Good. Needless to say, I somehow I'm trusting the universe will put me in the right place for the right work with the right people without cheating my way to get there. I don't know. We go eight. So my whole point was I understand what it's like to be laid out on the couch, not being able to get up and bounce. But sometimes if you can just commit to a minute, the rebounder can take you the rest of the way. That was the whole point of that story. Good, give me eight more. All right, you can stay here four or you can switch heels side to side with me, switch, 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 four, three, two, high bounce. All right, good work. We'll come back to that in just a second. Let's find ourselves close to the middle. Let's feel our inner thighs connect. Ooh, warm in here today. Let's bring our hands together. Let's bring everything awareness to your center point. And that's the midline where gravity just kind of passes through your skull, through the top of your soft palate, your throat, down through your chest, your ribs, your hips, lands kind of between your ankle bones. Okay? Start to push a little bit more. Bring your arms tight into your sides. You can always have them out or on the hips if you need a little more balance. If you're with me here, let's start to get a little air. Now I'm keeping my heels and feet just a little bit apart to maintain my ankle alignment. I'm trying not to collapse in on that foot especially. And if you have a stronger set of bungees, like extra strong or ultra strong, strong or ultra strong, I think it is, you're probably gonna be good to bring your legs together. But if you've got a softer, I think these are just strong, if I'm not mistaken. 
which means sometimes my ankles will collapse in as I land. So I wanna keep those knees bent, even though the intention, the shape of my leg is straight, it's not locked out, okay? See the difference here's a little bend in the knee. That's a locked knee. We don't want locked knee. Locked knees often end up in locked backs. Yeah, so energy up the front. So this is called a pencil bounce. Now that we've got the form of it, let's see if we can land in the exact same place for the next few counts. Jumping from and landing to that place. I'm reading your comments. It hurts your SI and lower spine bones. Take it out, Colleen. Take it wider, bend your knees more, and let your tail hang low, okay? Zip up the zipper in front and just do your pencils here, okay? If it's too much, wider is always the key, all right? We're here. Just four more counts wherever you need to be. Three, two, everybody come wide, take it into a bounce balance to recover. Yeah, we all need to do what we need. Let's try to find this beat. Okay, good, yeah. For SI work, when you are bringing the legs together, technically your hips might widen a bit at the top, but it's minuscule. And if you've got any arthritis around the SI joint, then just taking the legs apart some kind can help narrow the hips at the top and widen the space at the bottom so that like if your sacrum is here and your SI joint here, just moving the legs apart sometimes can help a sense of opening around the bottom of the SI joint. But also making sure that we're not in this shortened position, but not tucked, just lifting up and lengthening down. All right, so. Turn your feet out slightly. And Colleen, keep this one really wide too. So we're gonna go with that three bounce. Again, we're gonna progress to heel taps. The heel taps are here to help us work our balance. So what we're doing is three bounces down. We're gonna tap a toe with the heel lifted and step out. One, two, three, tap and step out. It's gonna be faster, so it'll go one, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, here we go. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap the heel. Good, whoops, both hands come in. <laughs> Good, yeah. Now, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't work your inner thighs, <laughs> everybody, so oftentimes, that SI can benefit from an equal apart inner and outer thigh conditioning. So maybe we'll move a little of that into class on Wednesday. Because it just means that for weight bearing, having a little extra balance and space might be the thing that alleviates some of the tension or compression. Good. All right, we've got four more here. You can stay with this tap or instead of the tap, we're gonna bring both heels together. So it looks like this, out, 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 together. Out, 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 together. Oh, I didn't make it that time. Tap, tap, or single leg tap. Good. You can add little bounces onto the side. Boom, boom, boom. Tap, tap, good. This is inner thigh work, yeah? Squeeze. Keep those knees angling out. Good. Bounce, balance, I lost it. <laughs> it happens. I moved on too fast in my brain to the next one. Woo! All right, your last little challenge looks one of two ways. We're gonna go tap, 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 tap. If you've been doing your single legs, Leaping from one side to the other, tapping the ball of the foot. If you've been doing your one, two, three tap, you're gonna repeatedly tap your heels together. In four, three, arms out, single tap or double. I can't talk. Four, three, two, 
one <laughs> and bounce and bounce. How did it go? Woo! It's hard. Just a little challenge. Yeah, doubles, two. Yes. It's just there to explore. Four more. Three more. Two. And one. And one. Back to singles as we transition in our song. Let's come back in. All right. So let's find that hip width distance position. I say hip socket is what I mean when I say hip width. I'm going to get a quick, quick drink. Grab one too. We're gonna come into some single leg balancing. Any of the standing work we're about to do can absolutely be done on the floor. You can turn your rebounder up on its side and use it as a little bit of a support for your balance. You can use a ball, a counter. Does anyone have a um, bar in front? I'm not sure if you do, but that now would be the time to use it, okay? All right, so we are going to tap the left foot forward. We're on the right leg. The knee is unlocked, not locked and not bent. If you need to kind of manage it for you, then take your leg to a locked position, a knee locked position, and then just unlock it without losing height, all right? Good, hand at the hips or wherever you're holding on to, just heel to the toe, heel to the toe. Okay, great, this is good to know. Colleen Nobar, Colleen, you and Dick can hold hands. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> just don't throw each other off. Tracy, you might wanna hold your bar. You can turn to the side. And remember, if you are using a bar in any capacity, be it on the rebounder or in bar class, it's your partner, not your crutch, okay? It is meant to help you find your systems of balance. We're still healing and towing. Not to lean on, not to lose your form. So you wanna use it to enhance the experience, not um, do the exercise for you, if that makes sense. Okay, we go four, three, two, hold it here. Tap it in the toe, just tap, just tap, just tap. Where are we tapping from? Our hip flexor, and I did a lot of work on these last night, so I am feeling it. Yeah, if you do that, Colleen and Dick, I want a picture. <laughs> Go eight, seven, six, and four, and three, and two, and one. Slowly lift it up and touch it down. You can always keep tapping. Slowly lift it up from the hip all the way down. Fold, get taller, lower to tap. You got this. Up. Yes, press down to lift up. So much happening in my hips for two. <laughs> Yo. What did I say, Eeyore? I have no idea. Hold it here, you're tapped on the toe. Take your arms out to the side or one hand on the bar. Little vibration, close chain bounce on the single leg. Good. Everything is strong on this single leg. Everything is long up through your center. Feel, I always think of that, you know the, um, I don't fish. Like I don't do all, most things. <laughs> I, what I do is I pay attention to the things that are normalized in other sorts of activities, so maybe they make sense to you. But they have those weights, those like little teardrop weights that kind of pull down, and then there's a bobber on the top, I think. Anyway, I think of one of those weights pulling down on the tip of my tailbone, so I keep it reaching down and not shortening my lower back. All right, we're still on this leg. Tap it out, tap it out, tap it out to the side. See where we are now? Still on this leg. We're working that single leg balance. We're gonna tap it to the front. We go four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. It's hard to do. Don't worry about your other leg. Just tap, 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 tap. Just keep a little vibration going. Good. Tap, 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 tap. Good. Last time, tap, 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 
and hold it here. All right, watch. Take your left hand up. I know this leg is probably really talking to you right now. My other one's shaking a little bit. We're gonna go up, up, up. Now, if that's not happening, you can just go heel to the toe. Okay? Ready, set, choose your, your action. Ooh, this is a good tempo. Good, we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Ooh, let's give a little high bounce, shake out that standing leg. All right, we got the other side to do. Let's calm it down. All your weight goes onto your left leg. Calm the bounce down. If you need to lock out the knee and then unlock it, be my guest. Tap the toe forward, we're going heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Pull those toes up when you go to your heel. Press them down when you go to your toe. Good. I know this music feels like we should be bopping around. Just internalize the bop. Hold it in your center. Use it to work on that balance, yes. Good. That's it. For four, three, two, land on your toe, and we're going tap and tap from the hip. Tap and tap, tap and tap, tap and tap. I'm gonna bring my arms out and tap, tap and tap, tap and tap, tap. We go up and down, we go up and down, up and down. Lift your chest wide. Focus on something across the room. Think about the strength that you're gaining by challenging yourself just beyond your ability level today. Just a tiny bit. Good. Lift. Now she wants to dance. Her back's warm and she wants to get after it. I love it. Good, too. One more. We'll, we'll dance as soon as we finish this side, okay? Find your bounce. Push, push. We might be able to get on the, on the beat for this one. Good, good. All right, are we gonna do our four taps? Take it out to the side. We go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, you got it. One, two, three. Ooh, burning leg. Two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four. My arms are hurting. <laughs> I really worked my shoulders yesterday. <laughs> Good. Last two, out, 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 out. Last one, in, in, in. Bounce, balance, side to side. All right. Let it go. Okay. Walk your feet in so you're a little wider than hip width distance. Place your heels down. We're gonna take our heels to the right. We go one, to the left. Here's your dance party. We do have to do some balancing though. It is in the name of the class. It is in the SEO. <laughs> Good. And by the way, I'm gonna show you all the screenshots. Our views are up. It's either joy <laughs> or my SEO efforts are working. <laughs> Could be both. Yes. Good. Two more with the fours. Give me twos each side. We go. You can add bounces to this anytime you want or just pivot on your toes. We go for four, three, two. Let's close this one out with some singles, yeah? little twist, pivot or bounce, whatever you like. Bouncing is better for me because I can stabilize myself. Good, four, three, two, come back to basic bounce. There we go. Find it. Good, double out, rebound, double in. Here we go. 
Just getting that heart rate back up again. Good, four more. Three. Can we finish this song with single rebounds? I think so. Stay close to that mat. Breathe. Eight, seven, six, four, three. Stop in the middle. Do we do it? My leg is shaking. <laughs> Relax. Woo! Good job. Shake it out a little bit. My goodness, you asked for dancing. That's, that's what I got for you today. Another, another. I kind of knew that this was uh, a uh, good playlist too. We'll get back there, I promise. So far, if we go to the pain report, there's none. There's no wood either. Feeling very superstitious lately. All right, let's get this balance piece over with, okay? We're gonna go into a single leg reach after our balance. So we're gonna stand on our right leg. I'm gonna go this way just so I have um, the room. Tap one foot forward, reach your arms up, lift your hips away from your, your ribs away from your hips. We're just pulling down, lifting up, okay? Again, if the balance isn't happening for you, your options are to hold on as you do this one, to go to the mat and hold on to your rebounder as a support system or to do lift your toe and lower your heel, okay? We're gonna keep progressing. And so I want you to do something you feel like you can manage pretty decently. Good. We got four more of these. Good, reach. Think about how your body can become a little bit more compact. Remember we talked about continuous tension discontinuous compression. So as we lift this one up, we wanna find the tension that keeps us held here, but not compression that feels like everything is just being held from one spot. Okay, the whole body is long. Make fists, reach your arms forward if you have your handle, your wall, whatever you need. We're gonna to start to hinge forward, keep the leg bent for now, and just bring it down, reaching for your frame, and then bring it all the way up. You can tap in between if you like. This is part of our training for our hip, our knees, our ankle support. Good. If this feels good to you, you can start to extend your leg out, reaching that heel nice and long. That's your single leg deadlift, pulling through. I'm keeping those arms at chest level, but I want you to do what you need to do to maintain your balance. Remember, it's not about perfection, it's more about your comeback rate. So as you wobble, how are you able to pull yourself together? Because that's balance. Balance is dynamic, it's ever moving. It has to do with our writing reflexes, our ability to get ourselves right back up online after a fall or a stumble. Last one, everybody. Good, lower it down. I'm pretty darn proud of that. We'll do this playlist again. I'm just hitting it because that's what everybody in fitness does after you work your glutes. <laughs> Woo! This is sweaty. This is sweaty in here. We're gonna be all right. Ready for the other side? Not really. Let's do it. Standing on, all right, we're gonna give this foot a pep talk. You can do it, you remember. You got everything you need all the way up and through. Here we go, arms reach up. We're lifting and lowering. This is like a um, pep talk, I guess. This is a little affirmation for your standing leg. I got a lot of wobbling going on, but we're honoring the wobble. Good, pull, reach. Over the weekend, my son did a bunch, I mean, my husband did a bunch of carpentry, moved a bunch of things around while I was at work. Um, yeah, unfortunately right now I'm working six days. Gotta keep that business going, you know? Power of one. <laughs> Two more here. 
So anyways, I'm getting my son's shelf and I'm really excited because that means more plants. Hold your knee up, reach your arm out. Here we go, reach it forward, hinge at the hips. And lift up. Like for all the money I save in recycling the old shelf, it will be spent on plants. That's not exactly true. Some of the shelves are gonna be used for the weights. So it'll, it'll all work out. But it goes perfectly with the setup, so I'm pretty excited. And then I can bring some of the plants from my office over here. I'm distracting us all, can you tell? Find that tension, reach that leg back. I'm distracting myself because I really want to win on this foot this week. It's been a little frustrating. But I've been doing all my things. And I'm not pushing it. I'm not asking it to do more than it wants to. But I need a little reassurance. That's where I'm mentally at right now. And I'm not talking about performance. Unfortunately, as a dancer, you learn to perform no matter what's happening. I'm talking about feeling, sensation, confidence in the nervous system. Good, we've got two more of these. How are we doing? I can't read your comments while we do the balance, unfortunately. <laughs> it's no worky for me. Good, last one. Oh, oh. And groaning is welcome. <laughs> do it. All right, you all. Take one last drink. Where are we? We're just about there. Let's get ourselves cooled down. We did great, I think. More plants, more plants. Yeah, in truth, all I have to do at this point is just propagate. They're all ready. Okay. Do you remember at the beginning where we were talking about two feet to two feet? We did all these kicks, these outer hips things. We just did single leg work, which is definitely for the support of balance on a single leg. So. We're gonna take that same concept to finish out. And it's like we go, when, sorry, glitch. We talk about the rebound going two feet out to two feet in, landing on two feet at the same time, not one, 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 okay? When we move into things like um, ponies, we do the same thing, except we're jumping to one side on two feet and then to the other side on two feet, all right? So let's find our center. Let's get our basic bounce. Don't worry about the tempo so much. And we're gonna sweep it over to the right, bounce, hold it here, and then left. Right, left. Go faster if you need to. Right, left, right, left. Good, for four. Three, two, one. Now try with a little pony. Pony, 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 pony. Good. Sometimes it glitches, Tracy. <laughs> it's not the computer, it's the operating system. <laughs> Good, reach. Just see if you can tap that toe and full foot. Toe and full foot. Let's do a couple more slow like this. And then we're gonna speed it up a little bit more. But you can always come back to this one. Four, three, two. Let's try two and two. Two, 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 two. I know we're gonna go a little off the music, but do what you need to do to get that balance. All right. If you wanna go for singles, Now's the time to do it. Yeah. Two and two, two and two. Not worrying about tempo, I'm worrying about landing and feeling foot and toes. Good. Here we go. Last four, three, two. And one, bounce balance. All right, good work everybody. Let those arms hang down. Woo, that was a good amount of work. Would you say so? Bring both feet down. 
Let it shake out. Breathing in. Yeah, right at the end I started to feel my foot go tired. Stop now. That's what I gotta listen into. It's like, if you want confidence back from your body, then you can't, it's like screaming in someone's face who's shy, be confident. What is that like? That's never happened to me. <laughs> you can't do it to your body either, right? You have to be like, hey, hey foot, I just want you to know that I'm here for you. Keep going, let me give you some music. Oh, we run to the end of the playlist. Oh, there we go. And while I'm over here, as we're cooling down, let's see, I wanna drop in a little quizzy quiz that I, I made myself. Come on, pin it. All right, I'll get it later. It's down at the bottom. All right, so the quiz is my Stress Busters toolkit. And like, look, I know that right now there's a lot happening in the world and like stress levels are unduly high for many reasons. And just existing and understanding what's happening in the world and maybe what's happening in our own towns and our own families even, our own bodies, like there's every time, everything is happening. It's not one, one thing we can point to, there's lots of it. So um, I totally understand that we're all feeling maybe unduly stressed right now. Um, let's roll our shoulders back in the name of that. So this little um, quiz is not to tell whether or not you're stressed because <laughs> I think the answer is yes, <laughs> we are. Um, instead, it is to help you understand how your stress is affecting your body and mind as a whole. So sometimes we can roll through stress. Let's reverse the shoulders. Sometimes we can roll through stress and you know we feel it, we respond to it or react to it, and then and we let it go. But, and then other times the stress becomes cumulative and it ends up affecting the way that we're eating or sleeping or moving. And those are the things that I want to try to build awareness surrounding around. So, all right, calm your bounce down. Reach up. Thank you, Christina. Take your left hand down, bend your knees, and this time reach to your frame. So bend your knees as low as you can. If you can straighten your legs any amount, getting a little stretch in your left underarm, maybe your low back, just reaching back and then bend your knees to roll up reaching both arms up and then reaching down to the other side bending your knees to get there and then once you get there just see if it's possible to straighten any amount go slow play with it good bend your knees come all the way up we're gonna let those feet go out we're gonna bend our knees down reaching down to the ground let your hips drop and if you need to come down to a seated position, go for it. Oh, I've worked this rebounder so much that I'm starting to, the uh, decal's coming off. <laughs> uh. oh, all right, take your hands back, open your knees, give yourself a little, a little shift. Thank you all, thank you Tracy, thank you Christina. <sighs> so, you know, we talked a little bit today about like anxiety and depression and, you know, certain entrepreneurship is not the best <laughs> employment <laughs> with stretch to the side for those conditions. Um, but I do have to say that on the days where I do struggle with self-doubt or those intrusive thoughts that like one of the places that I know I can come to feel appreciated is here. Go ahead and come down and reach because, you know, the world is not going to always understand where you're coming from. And sometimes when you, how do I want to say this, move forward, sometimes people want you to be something that you just aren't and they put you into a box that they think you should fit into, That's open your knees wide. And then it turns out that the, that box isn't for you. And so you change the game and it really 
pisses people off when you're not who they thought you were supposed to be. And so I think that like that's a big part of what I deal with a lot of times is that like I have a tattoo on my arm that says at her best she was herself and that's what I live by and it means that it just means that like the approval isn't always going to be there. Let's extend our left foot out and then just hinge forward get that last calf stretch. So, you know, with that comes like it's this hard line to tiptoe through or on. It's like, okay, if you are yourself, you run the risk of people not liking who that is. But you like who it is. <laughs> so it's like, what's better? You know, and I think that for too many years, I've definitely spent like too long trying to be something that I wasn't. So, you know, here we are. So that's a long winded way to say thanks for being here. Let's stand together in three, two, one, if you're working with a sore part, might I suggest maybe a little ice therapy on it? You know I always am a proponent of a magnesium supplement as, also, as long as it's been okayed by your doc. I think it's one of the best supplements to help our recovery. Um, sleep is also a very important recovery piece for our muscles, yes. As well as, um, you know, just nice balanced food. I'm playing with the phrase of being well fed which is usually relegated to like somebody who might be bigger in body or an animal but I'm redefining it for myself it means not hangry it means energized it means present it means satiated it means satisfied it means alive so if you want to adopt those words and play around with them yourself as you're eating this week I invite you to do so uh, well 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 How interesting. Anyway, um, I'm not sure what happened here, but something happened. <laughs> Did it happen? All right, my friends. Uh, I think I think we're. Oh, there we go. Don't forget that part, okay? <laughs> All right. Have a good rest of the day. I'll see you Wednesday. Bye.